Hi folks, it's Ivo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I am out here with the boatless angler himself. We got Antonio with us today and uh, we are, I guess, kind of in a boat. It's, <laughs> it's a little car topper and we're out here today looking for catfish, folks. Uh, I've got the new uh, pre-rigged T-turn bait rig uh, and I'm using the catfish rig and as you know, these come already pre-rigged. All I had to do was tie one on and snap on a sinker and uh, this particular catfish rig has got a 5 um octopus style hook and we're running fresh cut bait and all we're going to do today i've got my bait caster with me i'm running 20 pound test fluorocarbon line and uh it's early spring so the ice has been out for what maybe four weeks yeah i'd say that about four weeks yeah but the water is still very cold and uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day today. They're calling for the sun to come out. So we're hoping to get into some nice early season channel cat. So stay tuned, folks. <laughs> okay, well, actually that didn't take too long. And uh, I, I forgot to mention, we've got Lisa with us today too. She's on the camera. So- uh, Not on the camera now. Not on the camera now, Antonio is. And she, of course, hit first as she usually does. <laughs> hey, Lisa, yeah. feels like good fish? Uh, Ooh, that looks like a good one. Oh yeah, that's a nice start right there, folks. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> a little more in the net. Nice, Lisa, way to go. What's that start to our day right there? Look at that. Oh, that's a good fish, Lisa. Okay, there you go, Lisa. <laughs> that's a nice start. Here you go, Lisa, it's your fish. Put your thumb right in the mouth there. You can grab the tail. There you go, let's see. Nice. Well, what a start that is to our day right there. Yeah. And we've been about, what, 10, 15 minutes? Probably, yeah, 15 maybe. About 15 minutes for the first hit. Not bad for a little cool morning here this morning. Look at that nice catfish. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Decent size. And away we go. Well, that's a good start right there, folks. All right, Antonio, maybe you and I will get a hit now. Okay, well, that took a little while, but Antonio struck with a hit. Small. And it's a smaller, smaller channel, and it feels like a smaller one. There you go, Antonio. Nice little channel cat. <laughs> the size of the bait. <laughs> it's like a big bullhead. You know, it took a little while for, uh, for that fish to hit. Did it ever. Yes, it did. We've been sitting for a bit now, and what we're doing is we're casting all around in the same area to try to attract those fish to get those fish to hit. Lisa, I think yours was a little bigger. A little bit. <laughs> Still a nice fish though. That's actually a good eating size if you like to eat the catfish. Someone wrote in the other day and says, what's a good eating size? Well, one, two, three, four pounds, those are actually ideal. Okay, well, hopefully we get into some more. It's, it's cold. It's very, very cold. The spring has been cold and the bite is a little bit slower. Lisa got that one right away, but it's been a while now, eh, Antonio? It's been too long. I'm losing confidence. <laughs> <laughs> but that, well, was a, that was a pick-me-up. There you go. Well, as it gets a little warmer, the, the bite should get warmer, too. I, I, that was a good hook set. I think things are starting to heat up now. Literally and... Literally. <laughs> getting a little warmer. I can feel my fingers. It's late March right now, folks, and uh, it's been a cold, cold spring. The warm, the winter's been warmer, actually. <laughs> At least it feels like it has. That one feel a little bigger? Than my last one, yes. Nice. Actually, I think it's got some good size to it. Nice. Now, they're not really fighting really, really hard because this water is still bitter cold. So these fish are, they're sluggish, so the bites are not really really aggressive and the fights are not really really aggressive oh that's a nice channel oh that's a good Did fish oh yeah oh oh yeah oh actually he is starting to fight a little he saw the boat he saw the boat but and he came there. in really sluggish eh it's a good fish folks this is a real good fish Under the boat, under the boat. <laughs> there he is. I can't really net him. There, that'll be better now. 
Oh wow. Big one? Oh yeah. That is a big channel. Nice. Oh, that? That's a big channel cat. Oh, that's a big heavy one, Antonio. I'm gonna have to stand up to lift him in. Ready? Wow, that's a heavy fish. Oh wow. We should have brought a weigh scale because that's, that's a good heavy. One. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There you go. Holy cow. That's <laughs> Folks, that is one big heavy fish. We're gonna snap a photo of that one for you, Antonio, because that's photo worthy. Wow, it's huge. That is a huge fish. If you lift them up, we'll grab a nice photo up here. That's a big channel cat. Wow. I try to lift it. My tackle bag. Nice. Oh yeah, that's a really good fish. Oh, that's, a, oh, that's, a, a, oh, that's a big fish. <laughs> you struggling a little bit there, Antonio? I've, I've been slimed. <laughs> you've, been, you've been slimed, have you? Oh. This pile of this car topper, there's like no room. But okay. Why don't you lip lock them? There you go. That's a big, thick fish. Snap a photo there. Nice photo op. Gorgeous fish. Heavy, thick. That's how thick he is. Thick, thick, thick. Big head. Big whiskers. That's a big fish. Really oh. nice. <laughs> but the bite was subtle, wasn't it? Where he was biting. It was just kind of... Just biting ever so slightly, biting ever so slightly, and then I saw Antonio just laid right into him and set the hook. We have a rag or No, what? that's one thing we didn't bring. You gotta put your hands in the cold oh. water. Okay! Nice. <laughs> it was, <laughs> uh, it's my turn now. Oh, that was, that was a, actually a little bit more of an aggressive bite. And you know what? I really like these 5 aught hooks that come on these catfish T-turn bait rigs because they've got an, it's a nice size hook that allows for, it's got a nice gap to it, and it allows for uh, extra gap when you put your cut bait on there, you still have lots of hook gap for setting the hook. And this one doesn't feel as big as that last one you got, Antonio, but it feels like a good fish though. Oh, it's pretty nice. It's a nice catfish. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, they're coming out. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good fish too, Antonio. About half the size of the one you caught, but... Okay, let's get him in. Okay. There we go. There's a nice channel cat. Look how brown these fish are. They're brown, they're coming out of this real brown water. Very, very brown. And I think what I'd like is a quick photo of this, Antonio, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay, thanks for the photo op there, Antonio. No problem. Let's get this fish right back in the water. Nice, gorgeous fish. Oh, yes. Oh, boy, that water is really cold. But at least the fishing is starting to heat up, I think, as the weather is getting a little warmer here as the day goes on. But you know what, folks? Early spring cat fishing, there's nothing like it. You get the opportunity to catch some nice big fish as we're getting here today. Lisa started off with a nice fish, Antonio with a huge one, and then I'm finishing off with a nice fish here. We're going to keep going at it, but I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thundermas Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I got him tuckered out enough that I can get him in the net. There we go.